And in global markets, all eyes are on the U.S. jobs report later on Friday. Investors will dissect the data to understand the Federal Reserve's rate path. The, the payroll data is crucial to determine what the Fed does at its meeting on September 18th. Now, an Asian benchmark was headed for a weekly decline as regional stocks were mixed going into the U.S. jobs data. U.S. stock futures fell on rumors that Traders are selling off part of their holdings before the report. Market participants are estimating that the Fed will lower rates by more than 100 basis points this year. Many believe that today's payroll data will determine whether the central bank cuts by 25 or 50 basis points. This is due to Fed Chair Jerome Powell's recent focus on the labor market. Meanwhile, the typhoon that hit Hong Kong early on Friday morning halted stock trading in the city. Steve Sosnick at Interactive Brokers said, the danger, in real, the danger is really bad news. Even if the Fed is prepared to react aggressively, it might be too late to stave off real economic weakness. Sostik added, but there is a worry that if the news is too good, the Fed might be reticent to cut rates as fast as the market has come to expect. Now, in the commodities market, oil edged higher as OPEC Plus postponed its oil supply hike by two months. The move, however, wasn't enough to roll back steep losses in crude prices amid fear about fragile demand. Gold has held its held on to its gains as traders digested the latest U.S. data readings. In the run-up to the U.S. payroll figures, economic data was mixed. Services expanded at a modest pace. Companies added the, the fewest jobs since the start of 2021, while unemployment claims trailed estimates.